what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A 27-year-old Eastern Cape South African accountancy student by the name of Sabanya Mani inadvertently received $1,080,000 in her bank account of her normal $108 for financial aid at her university. You know she had hot water, right? Because you know what she did, right? She took the money and ran. She went on a 73-day shopping spree. We talking parties. We talking buying all kind of gifts for her friends. We talking shoes and purses and clothes. <laughs> yeah. Eyebrows were raised initially when her neat cornrow hairstyle was replaced with $230 a time Peruvian weaves and she began wearing designer outfits and bought a brand new iPhone 7. Now, this is a poor student, y'all. <laughs> she began flashing the cash on her closest friends. They'd get new outfits and enjoy $65 bottles of whiskey while they jetted around the country to attend wild parties. Suspicions grew when a receipt from a local convenience store leaked online show that she had $1,050,000 in her account. She was finally outed by a deputy branch secretary of the South African Students Congress who reported her to the National Students' Financial Aid Scheme. By the time they reined her in after her two and a half month spending spree, they had discovered that she'd been blowing $860 a day, which is a staggering amount in South Africa. The total missing from the account is $65,000. She'll have to repay the money, and legal experts say that she could face a criminal charge of theft. Off the rip. You know, I don't care if you're poor or you got bread. If $1,080,000 miraculously ends up in your account, you know, you better hold tight if you got any intentions on spending that money. You better see what's going to happen. Because I can bet you a dollar to a donut. Wherever that money came up missing at, they are going to be looking for it. And they are going to track that money down. Now, as I think of this case, I seriously evaluate this case. If $1,080,000 ended up in my account, what would I do? Today? Oh man, I'm giving it back. Ain't no doubt about it. Um, wherever, wherever it come from, hey man, this ain't my, hey man, hey man, somebody put some money in my account, man, I don't know what it's about. I don't know what this is, but y'all need to get it up out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them return. I'm returning it. Now, Willie D back in the gap. Shit, man, I'm taking that money. I'm spending that money, man. Shit, man, hey, man, catch me if you can. <laughs> but I think I would have been a little smarter than her though. Like she should have did what those accounting classes taught her to do: hide the money, lay low, and see what happens. You know, like this reminds me of that scene in Goodfellas when the the bosses was tell after they they did this heist, this multi million dollar heist, and they came up big time, and there was a number of people involved in the heist, and the big bosses told them to lay low because hey, you know the Fed's gonna be looking for this money. Lay low, don't buy anything extravagant. Man, within a few days, some of the people were buying mink coats and brand new cars, drawing all this attention to themselves, and fears came coming. They came knocking, and bam, 
all of that was over. They brought down the whole operation. So, yeah, I would have laid low. I would have laid low. She should have laid low. But instead, she went on a shopping spree. She went out there, man, and started spending money on clothes. And her friends, where do you think those friends are right now? <laughs> you know what's happening? They're laughing at her. Just remember, if you got some intentions on doing wrong, you got some intentions on taking some money that's not yours and, and blowing that money on a good time, just remember when the good times are over, those same friends that you're celebrating with, that same woman that you're blowing that money on, she going to catch out. They're going to catch out when you get caught. I can't count the number of times I watched American Greed and saw people living a high life. I seen women living the high life off of their husbands and boyfriends' dirty deeds, spending that dirty money. And the minute he get caught up, man, I don't care if they got five kids from him, they divorce him and move on. And then they do that little interview they always do. And they, what they say that they didn't know. <laughs> they had no idea. And then they say something like, They'll say something actually bad about the guy. They'll say something like, hey, you know, I, I didn't know him. And, and he put my family at risk and da-da-da. But they got to kind of say that so that the FBI can ease up off them. But it just trips me out how people can spend your money when everything's good, it's all good. But the minute you go under, man, they just, I mean, they don't even try to fake it. They don't front. They straight up cut you off and they're gone. And many of them are laughing at you. They, they start laughing at you. So another thing she could have done, she could have got the money, peeled off a certain amount of that money and had it ready for the lawyers. Had the, enough money ready for the lawyers in the event that she had to do any time, had that money ready to get her through, get her family through, and just be sitting low, just hanging low. Another thing she could have done, she could have got the hell out of Dodge. Man, you know they're going to find that money in Africa. Man, how you going to be uh, receiving $108 in financial aid, go from $108 a month to $1,080,000 and think nobody ain't going to uh, notice the difference? <laughs> That's crazy. She should have at least, at the minimum, laid low. I would have took the money and came up missing. If I'm in Africa, yeah, I'll take the money and come up missing. I'm going somewhere. You ain't going to be able to find me. You're just not going to be able to find me. It's going to be hard to find me. I'm getting out. Friends, I know they're going to testify against her too. If she ends up in court, those friends are going to testify against her. They're going to roll over on her. I'm telling you, that's how they do. She out here buying hair weaves and shit, man. Buying champagne and just living it up. Think about what I'm saying, man. This girl go from poor to just living it up. Some people, man, they ain't got the brain God gave them. You see, when something like this happens, you don't tell a soul. You don't tell your mama. You don't tell your daddy, you don't tell your sister, you don't tell your brother, you don't tell your friend, you don't tell the male man, you don't tell your teacher, you don't tell the person that you're sleeping with, the person that you like, man, you don't tell nobody. Ooh, that, that's a huge secret. That's too much to, to divulge. Somebody is going to give you up, whether they do it purposely or intentionally, somebody is going to give you up. Man. And then you have to think about this. She's an account student. She can't even use her degree now. If she gets hit with that theft charge that goes on her record, 
and nobody's going to trust her around their money. Man, and then think about this. All that money that she spent, everything is gone now, and all she has is memories and a pending, or should I say a possible criminal record. Not to mention the shame that's associated with it. Ain't worth it. Even when I look at the times that I did dirt, went and got that money. At the end of the day, when you get that money fast, you're going to spend that money fast. And she spent that money fast. This is a poor woman who spent $65,000 in 73 days in Africa. She certain parts of Africa, man, shit, you can live out there and wouldn't spend $65,000 in 20 years. She spent it in 73 days. So you take that money and money gone, all you got is memory. Think about all the dudes that's locked up right now who took that money, who went out there and made that move and they bought the cars and they had the girls and the clothes and the jewelry and they popped the champagne and they went to the fights and all the parties and all they got is memories and pictures and criminal history, bad criminal history and still got to start off from the beginning. It ain't worth it, y'all. It ain't worth it. But I guess it was fun while it lasted. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order, Texas.